Australia versus England. The fourth test match begins at Sydney. Let's talk all about that test match here at Time Out with Sports Adda. Arun, the Ashes are already won. Australia has already uh, retained the Ashes. Uh, what a tough time to be an England captain and what a tough time to be an England cricket fan also. Huh? Tough times, yes, Akhil, but it's 2022. What's happened in 2021 is in the past. Uh, I hope England are seeing it this way. 2021's gone. We've lost the Ashes, but hey, two more test matches to win. I hope England are seeing this as an opportunity to win it 2-0. I know that they, they have encountered difficult times. I was just reading a couple of quotes from Joe Root where he said, you know, the a lot of the coaching staff are not available to help the team. They're all quarantined because of COVID, whatever. Um, but, but hey, uh, go back 20 years, there was no support staff of 20 members. It was left for the players to, you know, fend for themselves, mend their own problems. So, you know, it's, it's history coming back again. And I hope England see it that way. I don't, I don't, I hope they're not sitting and complaining about the circumstances. Approach the test match with a positive attitude. Okay, lovely. Before we get on to our chat about, about the match and look at the squads, uh, like we do at Time Out with Sports Adda, we're giving an opportunity for our our listeners to win brightly signed merchandise. Uh, we are going to have a contest question, a simple question relate, related to the England, uh, related, to the, related to the ground where this match is going to be happening at Sydney. So, we're going to have a contest question, which is a simple one, Arun. Um, you don't please give the answer, only give the hint. Uh, the question for today is, which player has scored the highest test score at Sydney? Simple enough question. Uh, which player has scored the highest score in Sydney in test matches? So, very simple question. Arun knows the answer and I'm just going to request Arun to give a hint and not the answer. Okay, I'll give you one hint now. I'll probably give you another hint later. The first hint is the score made by that individual is 329 not out. That's a lot of runs. That's a lot of runs. Um, all you have to do is give us the correct answer. Go to our YouTube channel. Please like the video and send in your answers uh, in, the in the comment section. Uh, we've been giving away prizes for a few lucky contest winners. So, Again, brightly signed merchandise coming up your way if you get the right answer to this. Okay, so that's the contest question for today. Arun has given a simple hint. Uh, what about the squads, Arun? Uh, COVID has hit the England squad. Uh, even the Australian squad, Travis Head has has been uh, has been ruled out of the Test match. So difficult times again for the England squad to pick up and make their eleven. But do you foresee any big changes in the in the starting eleven? Uh, as far as Australia is concerned, Akhil, there will be one force change, like you mentioned, Travis head out uh, and Usman Khwaja comes in. That's the official announcement this morning. Uh, so, I mean, it was it was meant to be a race between, a battle between the two of them at the start of the series. And yeah. Australia chose Travis head ahead of Khwaja and now Khwaja gets his opportunity, even though not in the most uh, 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 pleasant circumstances. Uh, Travis Head's been been you know getting runs. He's been batting well, but but yeah, I mean Kwaja gets his opportunity, and I dare say this is probably his last opportunity to you know establish his place in the Australian team. Akil, uh, he's got to make this count. If he gets runs here, Kwaja can expect to play the next five, six, seven Test matches. Otherwise, I think that could be the end of the road for him. Hmm, interesting. I like Kwaja as a player. I think. Uh... He's batted in and in the opening position. He's batted at number three. Uh, somehow he's just not been able to get like a consistent run. Since they might have they might have preferred playing uh, players in different roles. Like Travis said, he got a hundred and they didn't take Khwaja's chances. I like Khwaja. I'm I'm happy that he's got a chance. I was actually thinking whether they'll give Mitchell Marsh one more go around. Because the kind of fear that he's had, the runs he's scoring in the big bash, I had thought that they might just go with him, um, try him out at number five. He scored impressive runs in the last Ashes, if you remember. He's had a dream year, Akil. He's had Mitchell Marsh has had a dream year, starting with a series in the West Indies, if I recall yeah. correctly. That's why he kind of announced that himself at three. again. Yeah, uh, he picked up wickets. He was the player of the series, if I remember correctly. 
Uh, ben obviously went to the World Cup, you know, did did his magic there, played a played a couple of useful knocks there, uh, and he's been he's been absolutely you know bossing it in the in the BBL. So so Mitch Marsh was 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 there, but I don't know if he's Test match material yet, Akil. Uh, especially with Cameron Green there, uh, who's been really really impressive. I don't know if Mitch Marsh will get an opportunity anytime soon. Not in the red ball format, at least. Mm, going to be interesting there. Um, England again, same set of problems. So before, sorry, Akhil, before you go back, go to England. Uh, Australia's bowling attack remains the same. Now there were a couple of whispers if you know they would they would look at uh, the leg spinner Mitch Swepson. Uh, there were question marks if Josh Hazelwood would play ahead of uh, Scott Poland, but we've got answers to both of them. There's rain forecast for every single day of the next five days, and and not just little rain, but you know, 80 percent, 90 percent, you know, chances of rain. So, so it, it's going to be interesting. But Australia have decided no second spinner. Nathan Lyon remains the only spinner, and Scott Boland. There were there were doubts if he'd play another Test match, but uh, with Josh Hazelwood not recovering sufficiently, they've stuck with Scott Boland. Mm. They couldn't. They couldn't bowl India out in, on the last day. If you remember, in the last Sydney Test match, uh, so they've they've consciously, I think, made a decision to keep rotating and keep uh, keep the pacers fresh so that they are ready to go even if it, even if the match goes on on to the last day. A beautiful wicket. If you remember, the last time the Sydney Test match happened, the match went right up to um, the last over where Australia couldn't force the victory. So beautiful track in Sydney. Always good to have good fresh bowlers there. So interesting picks uh, by Australia. England have their own set of problems. Who's going to be opening the innings? Uh, who's going to get the runs to support Joe Root? David Malan looked good in the first Test match, uh, but again, difficult, difficult times. Uh, how do you put your top six together? Really, really a big struggle. It is a struggle, but I think England are kind of made made up their mind. Akil, they cannot go back to what they did in the in the in the th- second Test match, rather. I think they've decided that this is the team we want to play. Uh, the batting lineup should remain more or less the same. So it'll be Hamid. Hamid got zero and seven, but I think in the second inning he's nearly batted an hour. So I think Hamid and Crawley will continue. David Malana three. Uh, Joe Root obviously. Ben Stokes. Uh, ben Johnny Stokes. Ben Stokes at five. So five or six. So so the top six remains the same. Now I have question marks over Josh Butler. Um, I'm a huge fan of Josh Butler, but I have question marks. Um, if he's if he's in the right mind space more than anything, anything else, Akil, that shot he played to get out, you know, at the stroke of an interval, that's not the Josh Butler we know. I mean, he's justified playing that stroke in one of the interviews where he said he saw both mid on mid off inside. He saw it as as an opportunity to get runs, but but hey, you know, being such a senior cricketer, you'd know that. Uh, Survival at that point was 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 the most important thing. Not getting four more runs. So so yeah, I mean question marks over Josh Butler's place. Uh, Johnny Besto. If they decide to leave out Josh Butler, Johnny Besto will keep wickets. The bowling combination is, is is the one thing, Akil. As much as the batting is the worry, I think they will once again tinker with the bowling in Sydney. Um, they played Anderson, Leach, Robinson, Wood. Obviously Stokes would would fill in. Uh, I think that will change. I think one of I think Ollie Robinson might just miss the bus, and they might get in a Stuart Broad again. You you don't think they'll rest Anderson again because uh, there's another day night Test match coming up in the fifth Test match, so they might again want to keep Anderson fresh for that. Uh, I don't know if the track in Sydney is going to help him as much as as much as much as they believe it, it should. So again, they might just get a Broad in place of Anderson and keep him fresh for the. Day night test match. This this tells you how much the England tactics have brainwashed <laughs> you, Akil. You know, England said we want to keep Anderson <laughs> broad for, for the pink world day and night test. It did not work. It absolutely did not work. And they're not going that way again. They should not go that way again. I mean, it makes absolutely no sense. Look, play your best bowlers every single test match. Now, Anderson's not available. Leave him out. Bring in the next best. But if Anderson's fit, Available, if he can bowl 40 overs in a test match, he's your man. So I think Anderson and Broad should play. They're not going to play together for a long time, Akil. Uh, 
and you know both of them will be hurting right both of them will be hurting so i we predicting rains you know the forecast for rains throughout the test match so so the conditions will be tailor made for anderson uh, i think they should go in with both anderson and broad uh, leave leave robinson out i'm a huge fan of robinson as well but leave him out mark wood is the enforcer who brings in pace so so my three prong pacers front line pacers will be anderson broad and mark wood uh, you got ben stokes to fall back and fill the overs and then obviously leech best joe root doesn't matter who the spinner is Hmm. Interesting picks there. Sydney Test match used to be the New Year's Test match a few years ago, if you remember, uh, when when the early part of early early 2000 were starting. Really used to look forward to the Sydney Test match after the Boxing Day Test match. This used to be the next test that that used to happen in Australia. So again, big traditional test match there. The the teams will be coming off a New Year celebration. So I hope at least there's a good fight that England put up in Sydney. Uh, beautiful batting conditions, as we know, Sydney probably one of the best tracks for overseas conditions to bat on. So I hope they at least put up a good fight. The match goes on onto the last day, like the India Australia test match had uh, had gone through. So that's my hope for this for this test match. Since you mentioned beautiful batting track, let me just give read out the first innings totals. In the last six seven Test matches, Akhil, five seventy two for seven, three hundred and thirty, five thirty eight for eight, three hundred and forty six, six twenty two for seven, four hundred and fifty four, and three thirty eight. Wow. So 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 Australia. I mean, England shouldn't be complaining about surfaces condition. This is the best batting surface in the country in Australia. <laughs> Couple, of, couple of other things. Couple of other things, Akhil. Uh, you know, England have won more Test matches at Sydney than in any other venue in Australia. I hope they're looking at all these numbers and making themselves feel good. One is, like I mentioned, they won more Test matches at Sydney than at any other venue in Australia. And B, if you go back in time, the last couple of, the last two three instances of a visiting team winning in Sydney. Belong to England. You know, England won in 2010-11. 2010, yeah, yeah. And before that, England won in 2002-3. So, so I hope England are making themselves, you know, feel the positive vibe while they're entering the Sydney Cricket Ground. You can mm, complain, you know, circumstances are not right. You know, there's COVID. Uh, you've lost the series, but you know, all that is in the past. Look to today. Look to. I mean, you've got to give yourself a chance of winning. I hope England are seeing it that way. Hmm, going to be interesting there. Uh, you spoke about Sydney being a high-scoring game, and that's our contest question. Also, is related to high scoring uh, at Sydney, Arun. Uh, I'm just going to repeat the question. Uh, like like we always know, uh, fans have to just go onto our YouTube section, like the video, and put in their answers uh, in the comment section. There, are people who want to win rightly signed merchandise. Which batsman has scored the highest Test score at the Sydney Cricket Ground in Test cricket? Which male batter? Uh, Arun has already given a hint. The score is three twenty nine not out. Uh, big scoring match in Sydney, so that's our contest question for today. Uh, Arun, your predictions? Who's going to get? Is will anybody get a three twenty nine in this Test match? Not happening, Akil. Given the amount of rain that's forecast, not happening. But I'll give people a hint. Another hint. Another hint. This player who scored the 329 not out scored a hundred on debut in India at Bengaluru. I was there for the test match. I was the scorer for the test match. <laughs> so that player scored a hundred on debut in in India at Bengaluru. Mm, good, good hint there. Interestingly, there's only one player in the current squads, right? Both the teams who's got a triple hundred. That is David Warner. David Warner. Uh, I was there for that too. <laughs> okay, so Arun has seen a lot of milestones happening in Australian cricket. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a milestone, maybe a Steve Smith or a Manas uh, Labuschagne getting some runs. Yeah, Steve Smith. We called, we identified Steve Smith as the top run getter of the series. Akil, he's he's he, he got runs in the first first Test match, but hasn't just motored along. You know, I want him to get runs. I uh, want. I mean, it's it's been fun watching Manas bat as well. So. So hopefully Steve Smith can get runs. I want Mitchell Stark to get wickets again. Mm, Mitchell Stark was deadly in the pink ball test match. 
uh, he'll be excited that there's one more day night test match coming up he's the absolute peak of his powers in day night test matches so we're uh, looking forward to that okay so it's been a great start to the india south africa test match uh, hopefully the ashes test match will also be competitive and it will be competitive will... it will be competitive england will something tells me england will put up a better show but i'm calling it a draw akil oh you calling it a draw hmm i'm i'm still going to go australia i think uh, they they'll try and force it here they'll want to win five nil and try and uh, keep that advantage over england so australia for me arun is saying it's going to be a draw uh, let's see how the match progresses uh, we are all looking forward we are both actually looking forward to the last last test match which has been scheduled in hobart it's a new venue it doesn't usually get ashes test matches uh, first time i'm going to watch a day night test match there in hobart also so going to be exciting even if the series series is already over for england let's see what what how this ma- how this match copes up and we'll be back here at time out with sports adda please do listen in share share your comments uh, participate in the contest and try and win some brightly merchandise